I just want to say thank you guys for everything. Um, I'll definitely, I mean, I, this is like probably that past year was the highlight of my sports career, you know, just win with you guys. And, um, you know, I really want to get back out on the field and I wish you guys were there for another year of it. Um, but, uh, yeah, just thank you guys for everything. Yeah, for me, I'll just, of course, want to say thank you guys all so much because especially being my first year with the success that we had, it's it's just like an amazing first year for me. We won Big West. We made the NCAA tournament. And without the leadership of the senior class, that would not be possible. And I do truly wish the best for every single one of them with Wallace, his pro career, Adam, if he wishes to continue his pro career, whatever he ends up doing, and then Marty and Luke Hazel, whatever they're doing, I wish them the best in all their careers. And I'm just very thankful for the first season I had and that all of them were so welcoming to me. I'm going to miss them all for sure. No, I mean, like what everyone said right now, you know, we really appreciate you guys and we thank you guys very much for not only being there for us, but being friends, you know. I think not only were was everyone a great teammate, but everyone there from this senior class, we're, you know, we're brothers, right? Not only, we're friends and like the, the relationships that we've built over these years are things that, or irreplaceable and I think that um, it was a good job from you guys you know allowing us to have that relationship and you know moving forward I think you know if you guys ever need any one of us you know I know we'll all be here for each other um, I think these relationships will last and be something and be something that are meaningful so awesome and Jake um, yeah I just want to say thank you just like everyone else has but thank you for setting that precedent of what the standard is at UC Davis soccer. Um, this year was an important year for us um, because we've made it as far or further than we have ever before. Um, and that's just the baseline now because of, because of those seniors, we have a new baseline that can only go up from here. So um, I want to thank you guys for, for setting that precedent. Um, and I want you guys to know that I don't, I don't want to speak for anybody, but we're going to continue that. We're going to continue the greatness that, that you guys have set for us um, and carry that on through through years to come at Davis. Um, but also I want to I want to wish you guys luck uh, in your careers after college. Um, I know, I mean, each of you already have something that you're going to go do. And that's right now. That's, that's awesome to, to know that you guys are in good hands and, and going, going places right from the start. So um, congratulations to all you guys. And, um, Definitely going to miss you guys. Yeah, I mean, um, I'd, I'd have to go with Wallace, too. Um, so, like, every every time before practice, we'd be in the training room um, with a lot of the guys. And, you know, Wallace would be in there for, like, longer than me. And I'd be in there for probably, like, 45 minutes. So, he's in there for a minimum of an hour. And he's, during that time, just focusing on getting prepared for training the next day. I mean, training, like, the next hour. And, I mean, most people just won't to do that so this I mean and that's why you know that's why he made it to the next level because he did that every day day in day out spent all that time so just showed you sort of the power of you know showing up and doing your job so yeah um I kind of have something for all four of these individuals to be honest so to start I with Marty um Marty was the first person I contacted because I knew he was in my major and just more focused on academics, I just wanted to know what classes to take, when to take them, any tips, which teacher to take. And uh, Marty was always there to answer any questions I had, any any worries I had. Um, and so especially on the academic side, Marty was always there. And any tips he gave me like that, um, moving on, it was more towards the soccer game. Um, as we all know, I'm kind of like an emotional player. Like I get riled up in certain situations, but situations but Adam, Adam and... Wallace, both of them were very good at kind of just giving me advice on how to handle certain situations, how to um, know when to react and know how to react uh, to certain individuals and certain people, just how to manage my emotions, um, especially Adam, because I get, he, cause he knows he's gone through certain situations like that to where he's let his emotions get the best of him sometimes, so he just knew to take the time out to uh, bring me aside and Make I don't make the same mistakes I guess he's made. Um, and then more recently, uh, Luke Hazel has helped me on the professional side because, as we all know, Luke is starting his new job soon. Uh, I wanted to kind of be the first one to pick his 
brand and everything. So he's helping me just try to figure out how to use the Evo system to my advantage, how to make those connections, how the connections are pretty much everything. Um, and just ways to navigate the situation, kind of this transition from being a college student. You know, I think overall, every senior on this team uh, was an inspiration in their ways, but definitely someone that uh, really inspired me and I learned a lot from was Wallace because I spent a lot of time with him. And, you know, day in and day out, like, I would be there. You know, I'm almost shadowing him every day. You know, I'd come in early with him. I'd watch the things he'd do. You know, I'd eat with him. I'd spend so much time with him. You know, the discipline that I learned from him, you know, the leadership that I, you know, wish I could mimic are just – so many things that I learned from this guy and just his ethic and his hard work is probably uh, something I've never seen before in my life. And where he is now is definitely something he earned and he deserved. Um, so, you know, for me, Wallace was definitely someone who impacted me. And not only that, like from a soccer perspective, you know, being a goalkeeper and like, you know, there's definitely like a mental game when you don't get to play. Right. But having a relationship with this guy, was definitely something that, like, I've never had. Like, being, you know, a goalkeeper under someone can be really stressful, but when you have someone that you can really share and have a with and not feel like it's a, you know, it's a battle rather than it's just competition, it's, it's a whole different game. So, yeah. Awesome. And, Jake, what, what, what bit of advice did maybe they give you or a memorable thing they left with you? Um, yeah. Uh, I remember – Freshman year, I got Wallace in the D.C. about once or twice a week, and we, we just talked about soccer, about school. Um, and the biggest thing he, he always said to me, I, I mean, I, I had a fairly tough time freshman year because, I mean, no one – sometimes it's not the playing situation you want, right? Um, but every time he just told me, like, just enjoy it. Um, it goes fast. Like, it, it's hard to believe that I'm going to be a senior next year. Um, but that it goes fast and and that these these guys that you're playing with are going to be your lifelong friends that I've and that's what I've seen with with all the seniors um, so that was that was his biggest piece of advice that you kind of take for granted sometimes about how fast this whole process is and, and how you just got to take it in when you get it you, you got to live in the moment with Marty you know he's just super competitive with everything um, and you can see it on the field because, you know, he has all that passion and, you know, gets some cars because of it. But, you know, he's super passionate about whatever he does. So I think something he did that really amazed me with Luke as well was they ran like 48 miles in, gosh, four days maybe. And that's just sheer and complete willpower. Um, so I guess just sort of, you know, working through the hard, the hard parts and then eventually he'll come out of it. And, um, yeah, so just as a competitor, I just really respect him. You know, I also spent a lot of time with Luke Hazel, and I thought um, learning from this guy, like, off the field, you know, Luke was very uh, passionate about um, his goal, which was, like, he was telling me he really wanted to get into private equity and stuff. But, like, just striving to be a man of the workplace and um, reaching his goal of being successful in, like, the financial industry or whatever industry is, he is in now, I think, consulting. But, um, yeah, learning from the things he did, like, with Aggie Evo, watching, you know, his discipline and, and his studies and his uh, networking, that was something that really stood out to me because, like, off the field, like, he spent a lot of time uh, focusing on his goals. And I just thought that that was a, a very great uh, skill of his. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Jake? Um, the one thing about Adam off the field is honestly how, how good of a friend he is to me personally, at least. Um, I mean, we used to go golfing once a month together up there. Um, and the fact that the, uh, our team has brought us that close is, is kind of, is kind of awesome, honestly. Um, but I'm able to talk to him about things in my future and ask him questions, uh, about just work and maybe playing at the next level and stuff like that. So just the fact that, that he's been such a, a great friend and, and um, it, it's, it's, just, it's just incredible. Yeah. Max Harfston? Yeah, with Wallace, um, one thing off the field I would say that I noticed and could for sure learn from him is just his discipline and his willingness to help others. I, um, 
I roomed with him a couple times on road trips and away games and things I would see him do. Like, he would read every night before he went to bed. Just, like, always willing to learn something new every day. And um, one thing especially is just the way he likes to help other people, whether he knows someone or not. Like, he treats them like they're his best friend. He just is always willing to help someone. And he doesn't have to do that, but he does it out of, like, the goodness of his heart. He just is always wanting to help other people and stay disciplined and just carry himself in a certain way that not many people do. And that's something for sure that I've learned from him. So um, as always, like we do at the end of practices and games, I want us to all join hands. Derek, you'll count us out. All right. And we'll give him one last little Davis before we go. All right. So reach out, grab those hands guys. Let's go boys. Go ahead, Derek. <laughs> Davis on three. One, two, three. Davis. Davis. <laughs>